Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards and in this video I'm going to be introducing the newest Eldari Warlord to enter the game. And here he is, Illic Knight Spear. Looking at his stats here at level 2, uh, he has all ranged upgrades. So he starts off pretty weak, but at 24 points he is one of the cheapest warlords. Uh, but as he levels up, he, ga he gains a pretty huge increase to his uh, ranged attack. And he is the second warlord and second card in the game, actually, to get the Deadshot trait. Uh, which is a better version of target acquired, allows you to lock onto the enemy warlord. So that's pretty exciting to see. Now his special rule is an interesting one. At first glance, it looks kind of like Skull Taker. But... It's, it functions a little bit differently, where Skull Taker uh, finishes off any unit that is at 25 health or less. Illic Night Spear uh, has to deal 75% of a card's base health uh, from ranged attacks uh, in order to ensure its destruction. So this creates an interesting rock, paper, scissors type effect, where... Uh, the, this special rule is actually really good against certain warlords like uh, Greyfax and uh, Rakarth and also Magos Dominus who are all able to increase the health of their bodyguards, but that doesn't change their base health. So uh, Illic will be very good at taking down those type of decks, but I think he'll really struggle against uh, some other builds. Probably uh, Morvan Vol is the biggest counter to him because she just decreases the damage. Anything that is able to decrease uh, your ranged attacks uh, will be a good counter to Illic. So that means fear and shields will also be good. Uh, but on the other hand, regeneration and Medicaid healing uh, from those type traits won't actually really affect um, Illic too badly. Also another fun interaction is with uh, Captain Acheron. Now Skull Taker is able to sort of counter uh, Acheron's Iron Halo, as long as your card deals uh, enough damage, enough to overkill the enemy. And Illic's special rule also functions the same way. If you uh, deal at least 100% of uh, the card's health in one turn, uh, you can actually destroy that card, even if it would normally have gotten saved by the Iron Halo. So, anyway, that's a lot of talk about the, uh, the mechanics of the special rule, but let's uh, look at the bodyguards that go well with him. I think, I mean, obviously you want to use your ranged bodyguards, and Eldar have quite a few cards that can boost uh, the ranged attack or have an additional ranged attack through the precision shot. So I've got uh, cards without flank in here. Uh, the Scourge is a nice glass cannon, and the Crimson Hunter is an obvious choice. Uh, we have two ranged scouts now. The Warwalker has been in the game for ages. But uh, this is the new Shroud Runner, and this thing is basically better than the Warwalker in every way. Even at level 1, it has impressive stats. It has so much health for its cost, and it starts off with a respectable ranged attack, but it increases by 6 with every upgrade. So after a couple upgrades, it's uh, dishing out some good damage. Uh, we've got one card with target acquired. This ranger could... Uh, if deployed properly, can help you to snipe a uh, an expensive enemy card uh, in one turn. Malgan Ra is also an excellent choice here with his uh, high-powered precision shot. And then the final two cards are uh, not necessarily as good, but they can help uh, to dish out uh, enough damage to take out an enemy in one hit. So we got the Fire Dragon with Big Game Hunter and the Dark Reaper Exarch, which recently got buffed. So it deals a pretty good amount of barrage damage. So uh, let's go ahead and deploy. Now this is still early in the season, so uh, I, I played about eight or nine matches with them already, and most of the decks I faced were quite low level, and it wasn't really able to uh, get a good you know, display of Illic's special rule. So hopefully uh, this battle 
uh, we'll be able to see it activate a couple times. And we're up against Commander Farsight running six bodyguards. Uh, we'll take a look at the level. Okay, it's, it's a pretty good level, so I think uh, we do stand a, a decent chance of blasting some of these guys into oblivion with the uh, whatever his sniper rifle is called. To take a look at the uh, the back here, the Void Bringer is what it is. The um, the special rule looks amazing. I will say that much. Uh, let's see, what do we want to go for here? So, one of the tricky things I've found with him is it's actually surprisingly hard to actually get the special rule to trigger. Because a lot of the time, uh, with the amount of ranged attack that I'm dealing with, these, with all these buffs, uh, I would actually be destroying these cards anyway, even without uh, the help from the special rule. So that's kind of the, the tricky part. So, I think we will see it activate uh, once here, probably, uh, with the Shroud Runner here on the right side. Yeah, so normally that would not be able to kill the drone uh, in one hit, but in this case it will. Uh, on the other hand, on the left side, the Crimson Hunter, of course, has no problem taking out the, uh, the uh, Razor Shark fighter. But the shields in the center are going to counter the Warwalker, so uh, that will not be able to actually destroy that stealth suit. So here goes. And you see one instance here of the the Void Bringer. Pretty amazing looking special rule. I'm really happy with that. It's very satisfying when it does activate. Tower answering with some firepower of their own through two scouts going to be a lot of damage incoming here but actually this is going to be good because the crimson hunter will be able to uh, snipe that uh, that suit right there and down it goes and it looks like uh, the, the stealth suit there was taking a little bit of damage so now they do have a, a big uh, old card on the field and at this point, we're kind of uh, in a rough spot because uh, I can't actually kill anything. And with the counterattack, they're just going to wipe everything out pretty much. But I think that will leave me in a position to at least uh, destroy them on the following turn. Uh, but we won't actually really be able to see Illic special rule here, unfortunately. I'm just not dealing enough damage in a single turn to destroy anything. So, it is a little bit trickier to pull off than you might expect. And we're up against Farsight, so we have to be careful, because when he deploys, uh, it's going to heal everything back up to full health. So, let's see here. I think we'll drop an outflank. Yeah, this is pretty tricky. I think... Um, we do want to take out the Barracuda, so this is where the target acquired should come in handy. And then, yeah, we'll go with Mug and Raw over here on the right side. Uh, the target acquired will guide the precision shot into the Barracuda. So that thing should go down without any issues. And the outflank just to reduce the damage overall, although they took out the Scourge. So again, we weren't actually able to see... Uh, the special rule go off at all. And let's see, Farsight, how much damage is he going to be dealing? I guess we can go with the Fire Dragon, maybe? Or do we want to save that for later? Maybe we'll just drop this thing down for now. And still suit's going to heal back up to full health, but... Uh, can we actually kill it off? I think actually it can with the barrage. And probably it won't even need the help of the special rule either. Nope. Oh, actually, there it goes. I mean, we could have killed it off with the, the splash damage there anyway. But... Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Big ol' melee attack coming. 
And yeah, it's game over even without having to deploy uh, the Warlord. But just to show you the dead shot, I'm just going to deploy him here at the end here. He's going to lock right onto Farsight. So, that can help to, to end the game as well, because again, you're focusing everything on the Warlord, and uh, as long as you deal 75% of its base health, it will destroy the Warlord in one turn. Alright, so that's a first look at the new Eldari Warlord. Uh, he's, his special rule is certainly not as reliable or quite as easy to use as the other ranged Warlord, uh, the Zephyr Blade. So I think the Zephyr Blade will still be easier uh, for, just easier in general to use and a, a little bit more flexible, but Night Spear is a, a fun option. I do, I do like the special rule. Uh, it's going to take some getting used to, I think, but especially once he starts to go up levels, though, he will become quite a bit more powerful himself, especially with that dead shot. So looking forward to seeing what that can do. And also at the Shroud Runner, this, of course, would work well with um, Zephyr Blade. But yeah, this is just a crazy card, almost to the point that I wonder if they made a typo in like entering the amount of health that this thing has, because that is that is a lot. But very cool looking model. Uh, let me know what you think of this new Warlord. Uh, I have a pretty positive first impression, but uh, I've seen other players saying that uh, they think it'll be pretty hard to use. So uh, let me know what you think. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.